Previously on Active Duty Outdoors. See him, Got hog. You did? Yeah. That'd be good for smoke, Rob. Yeah, that's a good job. Good job. Oh. Good job. He know you didn't do no job, but I <laughs>
up with his head. That's it. This how to get put on the smoker. I've already uh, done a little prep work. It's about room temperature, and I've already put the mustard on. Mustard's only to keep all the spices. Kind of, it's like a glue for the spices. All I'm using is black pepper, salt, garlic powder, pizza parts. Take it out, mix it in. Take it here. Put it on. Apply a liberal coat all the way around. This is the first time I ever smoked a raw hog. See how it tastes, see how it turns out. This guy was pretty little, so I say it's a little longer. He did the best eat. I guess we'll find out. Too many big air pockets underneath the arms, so we're just gonna throw those inside. Let those cook along with the rest of the front half of the pig. I'm only doing the front half because my smoker is not big enough to throw the whole pig in there, so I improvise. I'm gonna do the front half, the shoulders, um, part of the back straps, and the ribs. I'm gonna do a little pulled pork. 
So smoker's already prepping. Let me get it up to about 225, 250 degrees. We're gonna lay this up in. We're gonna do the um, modified 321 method. So I'm gonna smoke it for three hours on, on smoke, wrap it up, and then smoke it for another couple hours, and then unwrap it, and then hit it a little bit more with some smoke right at the end. Um, by then it should be uh, kind of pulling off of itself. And we'll get some good pulled pork tonight. Have some friends over. Have uh, most of the hunting crew with us. And we'll see how it goes. So stick around. I'm gonna take this thing out to the grill and get it started. Oh yeah, check this out. Sent this thing in. It's in a little story about my hog hunting adventures into Tusker's Magazine. These guys are nice enough to do a whole article about when I was deployed. And how Sarah and Jordan started hog hunting with Chris and the guys. So it's pretty nice of them to put this story together. Anyways, check them out, Tusker's Magazine. Awesome. Smoker is set to looking like we're at about 2.30. Pop this bad boy in here. So lock it down. We're not going to touch that. We're not going to open it. We're not going to peek. We're just going to let it cook until the, the cooking's done. Until that three hour, four hour mark is up. Got our hot coals. I use apple when I'm smoking pork. It uh, kind of gives it a nice flavor. Take those, chuck a couple of these big old chunks in there. Here's a little trick for you guys too. Let those start up. Take your wood, set it on top of your smoker. Keep your wood warm so when you go to throw on fresh chunks, it fire right up. I'm also using lump charcoal to get it started. Lump charcoal is more of a pure charcoal instead of stuff that's got chemicals and whatever else they use to make the briskets or whatever the heck they're called. Go with lump. Lump's the way to go. I like it a lot better. Um, I'm using this Weber Eye Grill meat thermometer with Bluetooth. It's got a it's got a spot for four probes. Right now, I'm only going to use one probe. I typically use two, but there's not a place to really stick a, a probe into that meat. So we'll just use the one just to get an accurate reading on the temperature in, inside the smoker. It's kind of nice. It's got Bluetooth capability, so. I'll, Look at my phone, tells me when my temperature is getting too hot, too cold, um, and then it tells me when I'm approaching that, that target temperature that I set. So it's a, it's a nice asset to have when you're smoking. All right, so we'll let this go for a little while. All right, here's the Weber Agro app I was telling you about. As you can see, it's got my probe on there. Right now, it's set at 224, and as you see, I just kind of lost it for a second. It's my one. Kind of complain about this the bluetooth on it is you can't get too far away from your system otherwise it cuts out but all right so it's been on for about four hours i'm going to take it off set it over here on the table so i can show you how i wrap it but it's already looking like it's getting pretty good bark on it Take our aluminum foil. It's real simple. The only reason why you're doing this is you don't want you don't want too much smoke. The next couple of hours you, you want to keep cooking, but you want to limit the amount of smoke that's getting brought in. You 
you got one of these pans, a drip pan, makes it easy to put your aluminum foil on. It's already it's smelling pretty dang good. I'm excited for tonight. Now we're going to put this back on for another two or three hours. Come back and check it again after a little bit. We should start getting a lot of the fat. Get ready to, to render a lot of it. So hopefully we'll get a lot of juices on the bottom. I've never had a wild hog off the smoker, so I don't know how much fat it has. And this is a little one too, so we'll see. All right. We got that on. Pretty airtight. Come back in here. Throw it back on. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. You can throw it back on the smoker, 225, 250, or you're just taking the house and throw it in the oven on 225, 250, depending on if you want to waste more charcoal or, or wood. Now, you don't need wood. I'm going to put a piece on here just to get the fire started back up. And then we're going to use the charcoal for the rest. Well, in South Georgia, when it says it's not going to rain, you can probably bet that it is going to rain. So we're going to run out here real quick, check this barbecue grill, just still make sure that we're cooking and we're dropping temperature, which I expected because it's raining. So I'm going to set you down real quick, put some more coal on here. That cooking almost done should be a couple probably another another hour we're gonna pull it off and then put a little more smoke all right we're ready to open this back up do its final cook unwrap oh there it is it's already starting to peel apart that's good And pull this off. We're going to try to save this aluminum foil for the last step of the smoking process. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but yeah, that's got some good juice coming off nice. Starting to peel apart. Almost there. Got a little bit of fire going. Lock that back up. We're going to leave it for uh, about another hour. Then we're going to come back out and pull it off and then we'll be on the final step. I'm excited. It's going to be good. Can't have barbecue pulled pork without having some sweet tea. That's going to be good too. All right, we got our water boiling. Turn that off. Take it off the heat, take our cup and a half sugar, dump it in, get it all in there, stir that around, then put your sugar in after you take your water off the heat, because you don't want to burn your sugar, it's gross, and take tea bags. I'm using eight of these black tea. Throw those in there. Take a clip, flip them down. Okay, last step. Finish squeezing out the stuff from that those tea bags. Let them drip. Throw them away. We're gonna add our ice. Whoa, 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 splashing hot tea everywhere. There we go. Let it cool down, and then we'll have ourselves some good southern sweet tea. All right, we're going to open her up. Ooh. Look at that part.
part. That looks like some pretty good barbecue. It's gonna make some pretty good pulled pork. I got it tearing. Put the big tearing. And I'll wrap this bad boy back up. Because it has to be perfect. Just don't want to lose a lot of the heat. Final stage. I'm gonna take a towel. I'm just gonna lay it over the top. We're gonna close this cooler. We're gonna let it sit and rest for an hour. We're gonna let the piggy rest. And then that should put us right about 5, 5.30 when all of our company will show up. And it's gonna be a feast. It's gonna be good. You guys smell it? Mmm. She wants to run. What? Close the door. All right. This is half the pig. Half? Yeah, my smoker only fits half. Looks tame. Oh, smell good. I hope it's good. You never. Dang it. You heard that? More subscribers. <laughs> <laughs>